outside is morning market. There goes the bus. Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go through the public bus transport system in VNTN, give you an idea of how that works. So first of all, there are three different bus stations. There is a central bus station, which serves local VNTN. There is the northern bus terminal and the southern bus terminal. Uh, northern serves everything in north of VNTN, southern serves everything south of VNTN and all three can serve both local and international bus routes. So let's start with the central bus station, located just across from Talat Sal. This is the bus terminal that most of incoming tourists will be interacting with if you're stopping into Vientiane first before going anywhere else. So we parked at Talat Sal and then walked across to the main ticketing office for the bus terminal. Gotta watch the traffic to make sure you don't get run over as you're going to the office. And as you walk up to the office, closer to the front entrance, you'll start to see some information on various bus routes. So the first piece of information you'll see is on the left in red are the Lao uh, points of arrival, so various cities that you can book from BNTN. And these can also be booked through the northern or southern bus terminals, but if you're at the central bus station, they can be booked here, and then you would route through one of those stations. On entering, you'll see information on the Thai arrival points. So there's a Vientian to Nong Kai bus route that leaves at 7.30 and 10 a.m. as well as 3.30 and 6 p.m. There's also a bus route that goes to Udon Thani. So from Vientian to Udon Thani starting at 8 a.m. then every two hours until 5 p.m. Approximate prices as were noted the day that we were there uh, to Nong Kai was 55 baht and to Udon Thani yeah, 80 baht. So anywhere between a dollar fifty to just over two dollars U.S. And again, you want to verify your own as prices do vary. Well, the other thing that we noted was break time is from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. So you want to avoid this time as there is no one available at the office to provide any service. And then the final bus route that we saw was the Vientiane to Bangkok bus route. So this looks like a 6 p.m. overnight bus that's available to be booked. Again, when we were there, there wasn't any information, so you want to verify this independently on your own as you come to the station. But it does look like there is a route to, to Bangkok overnight. So that's what you'll see when you walk up to the main ticketing office or the central bus station. Now, if you're interested in taking a bus intra-city and going uh, to various points within the city of Vientiane, including Buda Park. What you want to do is walk around the corner to the loading and unloading area for the buses. So as you walk around to the right from the main ticketing office, you'll see the green buses parked in this loading area. And this is the area where you'll want to, to come to book any local bus routes. So be easy to tell, each bus has the destination marked both on the bus and above the parking area. So it's pretty straightforward and pretty intuitive. Once you are in this area, you'll want to make sure that you go to either the secondary booking office to book your, your ticket uh, for the bus based on the bus route that you want to take, or if it's a local city bus route, well, which is one going to be one of the green buses, then you can just walk right up to the bus, pay the bus driver directly for the fare, and then just wait at the bus. Uh, you will want to make sure that you've got Wow Kip available or that you can scan pay for your bus fare.
Yeah. This is a cat padilla, 12,000 feet. Oh, that's a new, the new price, 18,000 Going up to 18,000? Yeah. That's the old price, that's a new price. Okay. That is the morning market to China Railway. Uh, that's not 25,000 feet. Even for Sangjiang. Oh, can take a bus to Sangjiang. <laughs> yeah, that's not 30,000 feet. That is the... That is the... Uh, about it? Bench, bench about it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Come away. Yeah. Oh. Keep, keep for you. So this is the schedule to the train station. And then this is the schedule to Udantani in Thailand. Here is the schedule to Nong Kai in Thailand. <laughs> schedule to Buddha Park. <laughs> bus terminal. Yeah. You gotta take a bus from here, central bus station, to there. And from there you can go north to Puan Savan or anywhere north. So this goes from the central bus station to the south. Yeah, to Dong Dong area and go to the south bus and station. This is 6,000 kip per person. And then this shows all the different stops mm -hmm. within the city. Mm -hmm. so actually, it stops at a lot of places, isn't it? Yeah. It's Inside the city. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all that. Yeah, it is. Yeah, all that is different stuff. So these are the different codes you can scan for the schedule and also the location. So you can actually see where the bus is. You can track the bus location. This is pretty good. A lot of good information. So we got lots of good information on the bus station here. So again, this is the central bus station stop. And if you're taking a bus to any of the city stops, you can just get on the bus. Each of the buses are identified by the sign where they're going to and even on the bus it looks like like this one's going to Buda Park so you can just get on the bus and pay directly the bus driver or again if you're using one of the city bus services you can pay at the office, you can pay right here at the ticketing office for the, the local bus station. The previous office that we were at was for the international buses, so if you're going to Thailand, for example, then you would pay for a ticket there at that station. So, yeah, this is pretty interesting. And all of the city bus buses looks like they're buses that were donated from the country of Japan. We got Japanese buses here. The green buses. And while you're waiting, you can stop and get some snacks. We got all kinds of snacks here. You can get some fruit. Looks like some banana chips and some pork, dried pork. We got popcorn. 
popcorn. Popcorn. Oh. Yeah. Mmm. That looks pretty good. Yeah. They even have popcorn. Popcorn. Yeah, you can popcorn. buy popcorn here. <laughs> and then you can buy some fruit. You want some fresh fruit for your trip? Or some hard boiled eggs. I've got everything. There goes the bus. All right, so if you're just arriving to this bus station, you've got a number of ways that you can get to your destination within the city of a uh, hotel or otherwise. So they've got Duke Dukes that you could book. Uh, also, some tells, so a little bit larger than a Duke Duke. And all these you would agree on a fare with the driver and that they will take you to your, to your destination. It could be either a private or a shared transport to wherever you need to go. The other thing that you'll want to look for while you're at a bus station is when can you access money. So uh, these bus stations all typically will have uh, either ATMs or places where you can change money. For the central bus station, there, the dollar itself just across the street has currency exchange. And then this is a visual map again of the relation of the bus station locations with reference to each other as well as some of the other landmarks within the city and the other point to note is that at these stations you can also pick up useful things such as some cards uh, data is pretty much what i use in the country uh, most people communicate with apps like whatsapp and so data is pretty much all you need for you can see for a 260,000 kip which is a little bit more than ten dollars you could have 60 gigs so pretty much the way i use data that would be good for me it just kind of depends on what your data use is balance the, balancing that against wi-fi so that is the central bus station now we're going to take a trip out to the northern bus station This is the northern bus station. So we can take a bus to Lumper Barn. And that's the schedule. 250,000 kip. We can mm -hmm. this for Gale. For Gale. Uh -huh. Between, let's see, 450,000 or 500,000 yeah. or 600,000 kip. Okay. Yeah. And then you can go to Bong Sali. That's what Bong Sali, the new town. Looks like it leaves at 7 in the morning or at 6 o'clock at night. It's yeah. Shen Kwan. The schedule and about 220,000 kip, so that's about ten dollars. Yeah, you can have uh, you can Kunming. Yeah, you can go all the way up to Kunming. <laughs> so, in general, the prices are about 220,000 kip and up, yeah, and up, depending on where you're going. Well, a couple things to note at these bus stations one is Make sure that you understand whether you're being booked in a sleeper bus versus a minibus, which will be one of these white buses, smaller ones that you would share with a party of 8 to 10. Great. 
grab some food before you get on the bus. All right, so yeah, it looks like there's a lot of options to come from the Northern bus station to a number of different spots in Northern Lao. Pretty good prices too. So now we're gonna go down to the Southern bus station. This goes to Lak Sao, Nam Tong, Beng Tong, Takek, Savannah Ket, Pak Sao. It's like all the key cities in the south. And you can see the departure times. We even have one that goes to Kong Loa. VIP sleeping bus, it looks like. So you can take one of these to Batse, Salaniket, Batjak. Between 250000 and 450000 kit, it looks like. So $10 to $15. for the convenience of a sleeping bus. It looks like there's a lot of options for these VIP buses. So a couple of things to be mindful of when taking buses. Uh, roads can be notoriously poor and not maintained, so it could make for an uncomfortable ride, especially if you're on a bus for a long duration. But if budget is important, and if you're not in a hurry, buses can be a great way to travel throughout the country. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share in order to support the channel. And we'll see you in the next video.